the last step is we're going to compare our, our corpus, this corpus, a specialized corpus, to another corpus to check for keywords. So in order, in order to do that, we are going to upload another corpus called a reference corpus in this case. And with this corpus, we'll check for keyness. So we'll create another corpus. You could also use the BNC or other corpus, but, but for, for the sake of this exercise, let's generate another one. And I'll call it GE for general English corpus. Again, you have to select the language and follow the same steps we did for the, the corpus we just loaded. Choose the tree tagger. And we'll add another file here. Um, we'll, I'll try to choose something that I would consider more general English conversation. So let's say this, uh, this transcription of the real world from MTV ages ago. And go ahead and, and tag that corpus. All right, compile. Again, this is quite a small corpus, so it'll just take a matter of seconds. In fact, it's only 6,600. I don't know how good it is really as a reference corpus, but just this is just for the sake of illustration. And of course, with this corpus, you will be able to do uh, similar things we did with the other corpus. Uh, we can search for oops. Let's open this up again. You can see I left the view options to show every single tag. And uh, that's why it looked like that. Okay, so this has now been tagged, obviously. And so we have uh, two corpora loaded. And what we do now is we're going to go back to the word list function. Ah, but before we do this, we got to make sure that our focus corpus is the specialized corpus. So let's make sure that we have selected, uh, I will select sports here. You can see though that my focus corpus is sports. Now we're gonna go back to word lists. And this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the option for the output options, click on keywords. 
And as a reference, we'll use um, this GE corpus. So we're comparing um, words in sports to words in, in this general English corpus, supposedly. And then generate a word list. And what will this will do, hopefully, it will show what words are particularly key. This is a keyness score. What words are particularly key uh, in the sports corpus? So here you see game and play and ball and football and so on are all significantly more common in this particular genre than in the general English corpus with which it was compared. Once you've done that, I'd like you to save this. This keyness word list. It'll look a bit like this. And then you're done. So in all, you will have, by the end of this exercise, you will have loaded at least two corpora. You will have tagged those, those corpora. So with that annotation, you'll be able to run word sketches, save the word sketches, run word list extractions, save the word extractions in two different types, um, unlimitized and lemmatized, and check for keywords. And then you're done. I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have, and I hope to be able to do it with you live at some point soon. Um, please email me with any questions uh, that you have, and hopefully, though, uh, this will have um, been pretty straightforward for you. Further support can also be found on the Sketch Engine um, YouTube site. All right, good luck.